You know, one thing about GASP is uh, they've never forgot their roots and who they were. Um, when I came on board in 2008, they were a hardcore brand. I've seen many companies over the past 20 years, they start off as hardcore brands, and uh, then all of a sudden they decided maybe the hardcore people aren't that cool anymore, and they went a different route. And every one of those companies crashed and burned. Uh, GASP, number one, they never apologized for who they are, and who they support, and they never lost their focus. You know, fast forward 11 years, they're still that hardcore brand, and they don't apologize for it. And that's why I've, this marriage has lasted as long as it has between myself and GASP. Um, because they are hardcore, and I like that, and I wouldn't be with anybody else that wasn't. I first met uh, MJ, Michael Johnson, the CEO of uh, GAS back in 2007, 2000, I believe it was 2008, Arnold actually. Um, the story behind that, uh, Per Benal, who was uh, the industry leading photographer in the bodybuilding fitness industry, I was familiar with GAS clothing because he uh, provided a lot of GAS clothing for us to wear during the shoots, and I loved the, loved the way it fit. As being a professional bodybuilder especially, normal clothes don't fit you. Even most athletic clothes are gonna fit you and they don't look right on you. So uh, the first time I wore GAS, I was like, wow, this stuff actually fits like it's supposed to, and it looks cool. So I was very familiar with the brand. Um, Pear brought up, he just, hey, do you have a fitness contract or any affiliation with any uh, clothing company? I said, no, I don't. He said, well, there's this clothing company out of Sweden. They're uh, going to come to the States and they're going global. And I think it'd be a real good match. It's a hardcore you know, bodybuilding uh, company. So uh, I'd like to introduce you guys. So um, it was a 2008 Arnold. I met Michael and uh, that's when it all started. <music> so blessed and fortunate to, to live the life I lived and, uh, and to reach my dream is to be a pro bodybuilder and to be a top pro bodybuilder. But I would have worked just as hard whether I ever made it to that level or not. Uh, I was busting my ass for 10 years as an amateur, not making any money. Nobody knew about me but, you know, people in my gym. So uh, it was an attitude you have. And that, that attitude, I, never, I didn't bodybuild to become rich, famous, any of that stuff. I, I bodybuilded because, number one, I love to train. Number two, I want to be a champion. And that's the same attitude gasp if you were to wear gasp have. They bust their ass in the gym every day. And most of them have a regular job. They go to work, they bust their ass just to pay their bills, and they still find time to get to the gym and give it 100% in the gym to reach their personal athletic goals. You know, we, we met at a perfect time. You know, gasp was really growing and I'm trying to break out of the Nordic countries and going global, you know, North America, Australia, Asia, all over the world. and. Uh, my brand was just starting to take off. You know, that's a right when I really, I'd won a few shows. I was already one of the you know, top guys, you know, top 10, top eight guys in the world. But uh, right about the time is when I started really doing well. You know, I think the following year I got second at the Olympia. I went on to win all classics and I was a top contender for the next you know, several years at the, on the bodybuilding scene. So, uh, you know, as I grew, my, my brand grew, so did Gas. You know, we grew together globally and uh, we became, uh, instead of being national brands, we became global brands together and uh, we really complemented each other. Hard work, everybody respects hard work. And uh, you know, you can earn your respect in the gym, man or woman, makes no difference. It's all about how hard you work. You know, gas, gas isn't for everyone. You know, I think years, back years ago, uh, I gave a video to, uh, to gas to post up and it was me being me in the gym. You know, probably screaming a bunch of four letter words and. Yeah, you motherfucker! Come on, Bray! Ah! Ain't no ah! I'm lifting some crazy weight, you know, super intense, I'm getting ready for a competition. And uh, they were kind of hesitant to put it up on, uh, on their media. And uh, I knew it was gonna be a good video. And I'm like, I'm telling you, the people that, that wear gas, this is, what they, they, this is what they are. This is what gas is right here in this video. This sums up the whole brand. And uh, you know, Michael finally said, you know what? Gas isn't for everyone. If they don't like it, they can turn it off. Very, like, I, like I said earlier, they're very unapologetic. That really sums up what GASP is. So going forward, uh, Michael used to tell me, hey, when you, 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 when you retire from competing, you're gonna be more valuable to me than while you're competing. And I was like, I, I remember I looked at him thinking, what are you talking about? And uh, at the time, I'm like, retire, I ain't retiring anytime soon. And uh, I'm like, man, he's crazy. He don't know what he's talking about. But uh, he was right. Um, you know, since I've stepped away from the competitive stage, um, I'm doing better than I ever did when I was competing because uh, now I'm more business oriented. Um, I'm still in the gym, still training. Still living that lifestyle, but uh, I'm able to travel more. You know, we're doing a global tour again this year. You know, we're going to Europe, several countries in Europe. I think we're going to Asia on a tour also. But going forward, it's a different role for me. You know, uh, I was with Michael overseas, and you know, we were talking about we need some young guns. Who, who, who is it in this new generation 
there will be a perfect fit for gas that lives the lifestyle that embodies all those gas principles that we talked about earlier. And um, that's part of the world tour. You know, we're going to be traveling around the world in Europe and Asia this year, looking for these young up upcoming guns. These young guns that, uh, who, who's going to be the next one? Who's the next one we can put on the wall and destination that represents the brand and that person embody all the principles and values that gas embodies. So um, the, the brand is expanding exponentially across the world. Uh, of course, you know, they came to Texas years ago, headquarters here in Dallas, and uh, doing very well here in North America. So, you know, because of that hard attitude, they've never changed from day one. People all across the world respect that. They're attracted to that. And got great things coming in 2019.